Good evening, candidate number one. Good evening. You are the first candidate to conquer this top round. How are you feeling right now? Um, I feel a bit of pressure, but it's okay. You can now pick your number. Candidate number one picked. Picture number two. Old and expected crazy things that happened to us this past year took a toll on our mental health. Many people became depressed because of too much isolation and lack of affection from others caused mainly by health protocols that we need to follow. That is why we need to learn to love and take care of ourselves since we are our source of strength in these trying times. Having a healthy and sound mind is just as important as having a healthy and COVID-free body. We fight for our health every day in ways most people don't understand. Because we are not lazy, we are a warrior. Thank you, candidate number one. You can now have your rest. May I now call on candidate number two. Good evening, candidate number two. Good evening. How are you feeling right now? I feel nervous. Good luck and you may now take your number. Candidate number two, pick picture number one. If there is someone who best fits the code, the youth is the hope of our future. It would be Vico Soto, the young mayor of Pasig City, who recently named as one of the world's anti-corruption champions. Vico shows our current and past government officials the real meaning of service to the people. He shows that the corruption can be erased in our system if we really want to. Every aspiring leader should look up to him. His commitment in serving the people is truly exemplary and is worthy of being emulated. Young people, may we all be like Mayor Vico. Thank you so much, candidate number two. You may now proceed and have your rest. Thank you. We are now up for our next candidate. Candidate number three. Good evening, candidate number three. Good evening. What can you say to all our viewers, especially to your supporters? Thank you for supporting me always. Good luck and you may now pick your number. Candidate number three, pick picture number three. The COVID-19 pandemic in the Philippines caused a major setback to the lives of every Filipino. Many lost their jobs and even lost their loved ones due to this invisible enemy. But it also showed the world few of the admirable qualities of the Filipino people, which are resiliency, positivity, determination, and faith. We never let problems stop us from living our lives to the fullest and hoping for a better future. Yes, life is hard, but I believe we will always overcome it. We always had and we always will. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number three. You may now relax. Now for our next candidate, candidate number four. Good evening, candidate number four. What can you say to all our viewers, especially to your supporters? To all my supporters, I want to thank them for supporting me throughout this journey and I hope you guys are um, proud of me. Thank you. Good luck and you may now pick your number. Candidate number four, pick picture number eight. Typhoon Ulysses is one of the deadliest and most destructive typhoon that struck the country amid of a pandemic. It brought great damage throughout Luzon, left so many people homeless, and even took lives. 
Typhoons such as Ulysses, Trambulas, and even traumatized others. It questioned our capabilities of being able to recover from what is caused. But Filipinos are known for being resilient and flexible, and that we should always remember to also be remembered. Sometimes it isn't just a disaster. It comes with a lesson for us to believe and experience life. What is life if there are no downs, challenges, and catastrophes, right? It is what molds us to be stronger, wiser, and independent. And therefore, we can say that, yes, I am living the life. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, candidate number four. You may now relax. Four downs, three more to go, and we are now up for our fifth candidate. Candidate number five. Good evening, candidate number five. Good evening. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. Wow, good luck, and you may now pick your number. Candidate number five, pick picture number four. No other words can express our gratitude and admirations for our frontline heroes. Their courage, dedication, and commitment make a big difference in these challenging times. We owe them our silent prayers, tributes, and respect that they deserve for being our lights and maintaining normalcy amidst the crisis. And when this all ends, let's be sure to remember their legacy, the legacy that ensured our safety. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number five. You may now take your rest. Two candidates left, and may I now call on candidate number six. Good evening, candidate number six. Good evening, ma'am. Who would you like to thank? To all my supporters and family, thank you for supporting me and I love you all. Good luck and you may now pick your number. Candidate number six, pick picture number six. After a month of uncertainty due to the COVID-19 pandemic, a glimmer of hope arrived, and that is vaccine. Developed by various medical companies in the world, it could be a long-term solution to our current problem, but not all that seen are guaranteed effective, especially the one that a country is pushing for. That is why we Filipinos need to be vigilant in taking vaccine. We deserve to have the best, and we have the right to demand for it. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number six. You may now have your rest. Now for the last and definitely not the least, candidate number seven. Good evening, candidate number seven. Good evening. Before we begin, would you like to thank someone? To those people who supported me throughout this competition, thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Okay, you may now pick your number. Candidate number seven, pick picture number five. Distance learning. Learning shouldn't stop just for a certain reason. Just like this pandemic, we all learn from our everyday experience in life. And one of the ways that education among all youth would be comprised is through distance learning. It's either online or modules. However, it does not guarantee that students are really learning because some of them have their parents and siblings who answer their activities. And it is an avenue for cheating. That's why we need to appreciate face-to-face -face classes and value education because it's an eternal treasure that no one can take away from us. That would be all. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number seven, and you may now have your rest. 